welcome back, back bonds. Thank you for coming back to check me out on uh, my channel, Atypical Vagabond. If you're new here, uh, not sure about this channel, basically what I'm doing is I'm a vagabond and search for a home and currently am in Portugal. Uh, to be more precise, I am in Coimbra uh, at the Mermaid Park, um, which is quite gorgeous. Uh, so kind of took you uh, took you through a little bit of it with this intro. Uh, but uh, here, what I'm going to do is talk about the five surprises that I found here in Portugal. Things that I did not know about or uh, just did not uh, uh, encounter during my first um, trip here in Portugal. So doing my scouting trip, I didn't experience these things or just didn't uh, uh, observe them in the first uh uh, first go around, but I've been here now for five months. So I figured that uh, I should give you the five surprises that I, I found while I've been here So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is sun intensity. I didn't really realize how bright the sun is here. There's very few uh, clouds here. Um, don't know how I didn't really realize it, uh, but uh, the the sun here is quite intense, especially during the summer. Uh, I, and I wasn't here during the summer. I was uh, last time, so it was in uh, a year ago in, in uh, September, October. But the uh, uh, the sun is very intense. Um, not many clowns in here. And I did notice the that when I was in Tomar, it was super intense. Uh, got a little bit too much sun one day out there, uh, and I was a little surprised. And that's a little bit further south, so I just uh, marked it out to being further south so the uh, the sun here is quite intense um at least from here in coimbra uh, on down south maybe up towards the north um the the sun won't be as intense as they get a little more clouds in that area more rain uh, so the, with the increased cloud cover it's probably not as intense uh, would be my assumption i haven't uh, really been north of porto uh, so I um, can't really say much about about that, but uh, here uh, on down south, the intensity of the sun is definitely going to be uh, quite quite high. So you've got to uh, um, <clears throat> if you're going to do your scouting trip, you might want to look at the UV index of different areas uh, of Portugal um, when you're looking at the um, ambient heat uh, index. Um, so you might. Uh, uh, when you're looking for different uh, temperatures uh, throughout the the year, which is going to suit your living uh, style, you might want to take in UV index in there too. So the second thing that I noticed uh, here since I've been here for five months uh, is that there's boxes of milk. Uh, it's something that I probably should have realized beforehand. I didn't uh, go into any of the uh, um, supermercados, uh, like Continent, uh, Bon Dia, or Ashong, or uh, Pinko Dosh. So I... Um, didn't didn't buy any milk while I was here. Didn't buy any cream. Um, and the uh, smaller mercados, they didn't have uh, these items, or I just didn't notice these items because it wasn't something that I was expecting to see. I was expecting to see, um, you know, gallons of milk in uh, a refrigerator like it is in the United States. Um, I understand that other places. Uh, have box milk now and I, I knew that there were other places that had you know bags of milk so I, I just never seen box milk box cream um, and that's not refrigerated so it's just out on the uh, store floor on a shelf and or on a uh, pallet and 
yeah, it's uh, something that kind of surprised me. All right, yeah, so I am also very surprised at how much I enjoy walking around here. I thought that it might get old um, after a while. I, I did enjoy walking uh, while I was here, but at the same time, it seemed like more of a job here because I was walking like 16 miles, 12 miles, somewhere in between the two uh, every single day that I was here. So. It seemed like uh, I was hoofing it just because it was more part of the, the job of scouting things around and, and figuring things out. So I, I'm really surprised at how much I enjoy walking. I'm not walking like 16 miles, 12 miles every day. It's probably closer to six or to nine. Um, but I'm walking to the Mercado, getting fresh fruit, and uh, you know, walking to these parks that are absolutely gorgeous like the one I'm in. Um, to walking up to the university, you know, and that's a little bit of a, a chore walking up to the university. But I, at the same time, I quite enjoy walking up to the university because I, I go through the same path maybe every single day. And as I'm going through there, I notice something that I did not notice before. Just a small thing here. It's like, oh, I'd never noticed that. Or, oh, wow, that's kind of cool. Um, so it's all these aha moments that I that I get from walking uh, around here is quite enjoyable. Um, you know, living in a car centric society as in the United States, where you're uh, dependent upon transportation through a vehicle, uh, it's a change, uh, and you never really know if you're going to enjoy doing these type of things. Um, over a period of time. So after five months, I still do enjoy walking around um, instead of having to uh, rely on a car to get around. It's nice and convenient that um, if I just need to get like some fruit, I can walk just up the street and in my neighborhood, there's a small Mercado that I can get something or I can go over to the Super Mercado of Pingo do Continent and grab whatever items that I need. So it's, it's very, convenient not needing to own a vehicle so that's uh, one of the things that's a little bit surprising so uh, you know I you know idealistically I would think that I would I would would enjoy walking more uh, but uh, you know realistically sometimes uh, those those things that we idolize as uh, uh, things that we would enjoy uh, don't always come true so but this is one of those things that does seem to be working for me and that I, that I do enjoy. All right, one of the other surprises uh, that I had is about uh, the food here. Uh, I figured that maybe I would just get uh, bored or tired with the, the same old thing each day here but uh, what I found out is that I still quite enjoy the food I, I figured that I'd maybe be missing specific food items that I'd normally eat back in the United States but uh, found uh, you know not missing peanut butter uh, you know if I want a hamburger there's places that make a fantastic hamburger I'd say that the the hamburger meat here is better than in the United States um, uh, if I want a pizza, I can go get a fresh pizza up the street. Uh, overall, food uh, is completely fantastic. And, and I'm eating healthier. Um, didn't really eat too many vegetables, fruits in the United States. And I'm constantly eating the fruit here. The fruit here is fantastic. Uh, eat uh, uh, whatever's <clears throat> freshest uh, in season. Uh, you know, it might be the oranges. Um, this month or the uh, melons or um, strawberries I mean, eating a ton of uh, plums and apricots uh, you know the fruits are fantastic actually eating tomatoes here because they are not grown in a, a uh, greenhouse they're not hot house tomatoes so there's uh, plenty of flavor to them uh, doesn't taste just like uh, wet mush uh, so yeah, uh, I'm surprised at how much I still uh, love and enjoy the food here in Portugal. 
uh, after five months. So <clears throat> last thing here for the five things uh, that have surprised me about Portugal is, uh, it should be pretty obvious, but uh, the thing that surprised me is that I get to stay here uh, if I choose to, you know. Uh, I am uh, in a typical vagabond. I'm um, in search for a home, so this might be a home. Uh, but the thing is, is I get to stay here. Um, I have residency card now. I have... Uh, done everything that I needed to do to, to at least stay here for uh, a couple years, see if this is a place that I would like to uh, continue to stay. Um, yeah, and uh, you know, I'm pretty surprised that I, I get to do this. Um, this is a, a neat adventure, uh, and I'm glad that I can continue my adventure here in uh, Portugal. So uh, that is uh, the five things that have surprised me about uh, living in Portugal. I, you know, I, I'm blessed and uh, really uh, enjoy that I get to stay here uh, and experience these other things that I, I mentioned in the video. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, hit subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. Uh, and until then, I'll see you on the next one. Love you all guys.